March of this year, Nick, go to John, the ex-boyfriend, sadly, of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, referred to himself as Mr. Smiley. Now, originally, everyone thought it was creepy. So even in this media release, they say he calls himself Mr. Smiley in a creepy email to the Post. NPG Cornerstone also covered this original letter. Nick has autism. And Nicholas Gunajan was trying to tell us, the public, something extremely significant. But we weren't paying attention. We did not understand his coded message. His autism makes it difficult for us to understand what he's trying to convey. But he gave us something to cling to, and that was this message, Mr. Smiley. What was Nick trying to tell us? Well, we're listening now, Nick, because we understand now you were giving us something big and we just weren't paying attention and we didn't have a clue. Go ahead and listen to what Becca Scoops talks about what Mr. Smiley is and what Nick was trying to tell us. And we have investigated the mystery woman who is behind Gypsy's disturbing plans. The woman who single-handedly molded Gypsy Rose for several years, Melissa Moore. In one article, Moore says it's her fault Gypsy Rose Blanchard had become a viral sensation after she got released from prison as the daughter of the notorious Happy Face serial killer. Here's a report from 2013. Front tonight, Melissa Moore. Her father, Keith Jesperson, is the serial killer known as the Happy Face Killer. He killed at least eight women, signed his anonymous confession letters with a smiley face, signed his anonymous confession letters with a smiley face. So this father of this mysterious woman who makes Gypsy successful was actually a serial killer who signed his confession and his letters with a smiley face. Well, here was Nick giving us a letter and signing it smiley face, saying, I Mr. Smiley. And we all labeled him as creepy. Yet he was the one revealing the big story. You have our attention, Nicholas, go to John. We're paying attention. And next time you give us a coded message like this, the public is going to admire you. We're not going to call you creepy. And we're sorry for ever doing so.